Oh, yeah. Well, good evening, Cavalry Chess Club. Good and evening. welcome to my little session on the Carrot Can. I'm Paul Sloan. I'm one of the players here, and I'm going to tell you a few of the principles. So I started out playing French defense uh, years, many years ago, and what I found with the French defense was that this bishop gets blocked in very quickly, and I found I've got quite a passive position against any strong white player. Um, I then moved to Alicante's defense, which is, uh, as you know, e4, knight f6, e4, e4, sorry, <laughs> yep, that helps. <laughs> and then the pawns are typically pushed on. And what I found with the Alicante was against weaker or moderate players, it was a very good surprise tactic because they weren't familiar with it, but against a well-prepared white player, I got inferior positions. So um, a few years ago, I switched to the Karo Khan, and the Karo Khan is essentially this move. Uh, in response to e4. And what I found with this is um, it's, it gives you a good solid position with counter-attacking chances. White still gets a small advantage if he plays accurately, I think, but it gives uh, black plenty of chances. I've had reasonably good results with the Karo Khan. I'd like to share some with you. Um, so I'm going to start with a, a game I played against Seb Gaylor of um, Guildford. He's graded 176, so he's no slouch. Started e4, c6, d4, of course, d5. This is, and then he played e5. This is the advanced variation, very, very common. Uh, I, I get this played against me a lot um, in internet chess and so on. And, and against that, I immediately play c5 to challenge the centre, which looks odd that you've played this uh, move twice, but the fact that he's done this means you can attack the centre. The bishop can still come out here, unlike in the French defence where it's blocked in. And um, White's best move here, I think, is pawn takes pawn, but very, very few people play that. Um, and White can set up quite a strong blockade here and cramp you if he plays pawn takes pawn. But it, it just looks an odd move to, because he's breaking up his own centre, so it's very rare for a, um, a White player to play that in my experience. Uh, most of them play this move, which just looks like a good solid move. But I'm always quite happy to see that. I think I've, I've got quite a good um, position against that. Funnily enough, this is, this is one of the most common moves at club level, but probably the worst. Well, maybe, yeah. yeah. So I always play that, nice uh, sound move. Knight c6, he plays knight to f3, this is very common. And as soon as you see knight to f3, that's the signal to play bishop to g4. And in putting, putting pressure on this, you're implicitly putting pressure up here. This is, this is the weak square that you target. Generally speaking, in the Karo Khan, it's a struggle between white trying to close off the center and come down on the king side, and black trying to counterattack on the queen side, particularly down the c file. Um, that's what I find generally. So, bg4, he plays be 2 very common this move. Looks, looks a nice, safe, solid move. B, e2, and then e6. And that just solidifies everything in that label. So, bishops come out here or here uh, and uh, protects this pawn. So after e6, he played... Uh, now, if, if white here plays uh, castles, which is very common, right, and in internet chess I get this a lot, it just seems a sensible move to play. Right. Then what I do is I chop here and here and bring the queen out here, and it loses a pawn for white. Now, having said that, it's... If you play bishop takes, bishop takes, Pawn takes, pawn takes, and then queen here. And you're attacking this twice, it's only defending once, and the only way he can defend is to put the bishop here, in which case you can take this pawn. Having said that, it's a risky pawn to take. Very hot. And if you, uh, against a, a weaker player, you get a win landing. You get two pawns against one here, if you can swap everything off, you're in a very comfortable position. But against a strong player, you can get, he's got a lead in, in development, White's got a lead in development, and he can threaten your queen in all sorts of uh, tactical ways. So after this move, so after he goes here, which they don't always play, sometimes they play something else and you're allowed to take off here. And you take here, I often play this, then he has to play here, it's his only move. And you think you're doing well. But th this move now is absolutely essential, because it gives the queen an escape route. Because after this, all right, 
If you're not careful, if you play something like this, then um, you can come back here, you castle, and then the bishop goes here, and the queen's going to be trapped after the bishop comes back. You know, so the queen's got no to, or if the bishop comes here, then once again the queen's got nowhere to go after the bishop comes here. So you have to be very careful about that sort of uh, line if you're going to play this as black. Can you avoid all that by just going queen b2 and then queen b6 on the next move? Queen b2. Well, you Queen's queen on b2. b2. Yeah, you went queen b2. Yeah. Before and after that, that you play bishop b4. Now, bishop b4 is essential, I think. If you come back here, no, you could come all the way back at that stage to b6. Yes, you can. Yeah, and that, you can do that. Because it's c7. Yes, yeah, you can do that. It's, it, but it, it, it's slow. Okay, so that is thematic here. But he didn't play castles in this position. Position after uh, knight b2, he, uh, after e6, he played knight here. Right. So he's now defending this implicitly. If I take here, he's going to take back with the knight. Um, I played, I took here anyway, and he takes back here. Because now his knight can't go onto its best square, which is here. So now's the time to take. If you take before and you can get the knight here, that's quite good for him because the knight can come in here and here. Um, so C takes it. Now I played here knight h6, which you can play. Um, it leaves the bishop un, uh, unhindered here to come out here, whereas if you come here. But I'm looking at this square for the knight, and very often in the Karakan you put the knight on f5. It's a really nice place to get a knight, and it threatens this um, pawn. So I played knight um, h6, he castle. He castle. So how does he play h3 before castling? Uh, I'll probably take off. I'll probably take off because I think this is this just loses too much time, and you're inviting g4. Okay. Yeah, so no, normally speaking, if, if white plays h3. If white ends up with the bishop on f3, then it's correct to take on f3. But if it goes to d3, you end up with a bishop that you can't oppose. Mm. What you don't want is to take on f3 and then white have the bishop on the d3 diagonal. Well, we'll see what happens here. <laughs> so uh, I played b7, now he played h3. Right. <clears throat> okay. And if the bishop comes back here, he's got these sorts of moves. Oh, no, he hasn't. Um, anyway, I took. Bishop takes. Knight takes. And white's got quite a comfortable position here. Um, I played knight f5, because otherwise he can take here. Though that's double edged if he takes here, because you get um, a nice attack down the g file, you don't castle. Um, Knight f5, and here he played g4. Huh. Mm -hmm. right. well, Hitting the knight, uh, which is aggressive. <laughs> but the knight can come in here, obviously. He played knight takes, and I played bishop takes. Okay. He played bishop e3 here. And I castle. So in this position, what we see is a typical um, Karo Khan kind of situation. Uh, this is, I'm going to counterattack on the queen side, but he's got some real pressure on the king side. He's going to throw the pawns down with his rooks behind. And that is quite uh, normal and thematic and dangerous. So um, after b3 castles, he played f4. Very aggressive. 
Uh, and there are ways here in which he can trap this bishop. If he puts the pawn here and then gets his queen across, I can be in, in trouble. So I played bishop e7, which maybe was too cautious at this stage. He played g5. Mm -hmm. uh, and I played g6. Why g5? He's, well, bishop e3. He's, um, he's going to run, he's going to get this pawn running. I would have think we have five looks more natural. Yeah, anyway, he played g5. Uh, I played g6, he played h4. So we can see what's coming, a mile off. I played rook c8, so my counter, uh, counter pressure all has to be down here. Uh, I played rook c8, and he played h5. <laughs> With a lot of pressure on um, I played knight e4. Now the knight's threatening to come in here, which is very nice, so he cannot allow that. Um, and he played bishop to d3. Now at this stage I should probably have played knight takes bishop. Mm. That would have been the most sensible move to play. I didn't play that though. I played queen b6, which is maybe a bit too put pressure on here and here. And he retreated the bishop to here. And the bishop now is coming down here very strongly. And the knight's going to be driven away very soon. But he's blocked his rook in. But he's blocked his rook in. And funnily enough, that comes into play. Rook down now. All right. So he played the bishop to be one. I queen to bishop to be I brought the knight back now. I'm hitting this twice. If the queen comes over here, I can take here. Um, bishop to b1, knight to c6, he played rook to f2. Guess where this rook's going? Mm -hmm. I played knight a5. It, it's a bit slow, this for black. It's coming in here, which is quite a nice place to put it. Um, he played rook h2. I'm going to play b3 now. Right. You'd have played what? b3. b3. Yeah, you can still play it. Um, Rook h2, I played knight c4, and he put this bishop in here. <laughs> Alright, so uh, he's got his two bishops against the bishop and the knight, he's got the pawn storm coming down, this is not looking too good at the moment. Uh, knight c4, bishop c1, I played rook c7 here, and there are ways in which when he takes here the rook can come across, uh, and so on. He played h takes. And I play knight pawn takes, revealing down here. And what did he play next? Rook takes h7. Sorry? Rook takes h7. He took rook takes h7. Yeah. <laughs> Had you not seen that? No. <laughs> I haven't seen that. And if I take, he comes here, check, this is pinned, and I get mated. Yeah. In double short order. Sorry? So what did I play? Now, I had to think about this. <laughs> what did I play as black? Oh, you're coming in an interesting situation. White's just played rook takes h7. And then maybe d2. Bishop c5. Bishop c5 looks interesting. How about bishop g5? Yeah. Not yeah, so he's threatening to play bishop takes pawn next move. Yeah, true. Um, mm. So here I found this move, which is a good move. Knight takes pawn, which holds this pawn and releases this uh, rook. Mm. So F takes. So now he's got to, to do something with the rook. So he retreated his rook to h3. What if he just takes the knight with f4? If he takes the knight with f4... f4 takes e5. Yeah, well, you'll see it's similar to what happened here. Was it rook c1 after that? Yeah. Um, so what did I play here? Could he run a knight? Well, why didn't he take the bishop instead? Could he play the bishop takes g4? He could, play, he could take the bishop. Mm -hmm. If he takes the bishop and then takes on e5 with the other hand. He could. Lunch, you, you, get, you can double rooks on the f-file after that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I will double rooks on the f-file. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah. So here he played rookie. Here, what did I play as black? Rook c1. Rook c1. Rook takes bishop is the winning move, really. It's very strong. He has to take. And then I take here. This is the classic weakness in the caro, the d4 pawn. Um, and he's got uh, problems here, severe problems. If he puts the king in here, I bring the bishop over here, and then I, I um, check here. No, uh, you check that to this king. So let's see. So this is the position now when it's white to play. What should white play? King h1. King h1. Yeah. It's the only move that doesn't have a check and a nasty. Take the knight. I'm going to give it a check. Take the knight? Yeah, what? Oh, green. Green F1. No, no, rook takes F1. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch. Oh, it's getting a bit nasty now. Well, you need a check. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Rook here. Queen here, mm -hmm. check. Rook here. <laughs> rook here. I told you he rook down. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. He rook down. So he didn't play that. <laughs> I'd like to play my scene on that. What was this? Uh, F4. No, it's on E5. E5. D5. E5. Yeah, E5. That's fine. Of course. Yeah. That's right. It's there. And this is here. King's on G1. And the king's on G1. Uh, so he played this move. Hang on, we're still in chess. And there's another. Yes, why to move? He played this move. I'm yeah. missing. I'm missing. Is it, is it rook on? No, I've done. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So he played here. So what did I do? Go for the easy win. Queen takes queen. Rook takes queen. Bishop here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm not sure one is rook by taking on being attacked. Queen takes c3. Queen oh, no, takes c3. Bishop c5. He takes the knight. Mm -hmm. I took here check. Mm -hmm. He went here. I went here check. He went here. And I went here. Mm -hmm. Which gives him a rather big headache to set the like um, he, I think he brought his king back. I came across here, I put the bishop here, and it all falls apart. Because yeah. he, can't, he can't hold this, no. So that was the end of the game. But in some ways, a typical caro cam in that white gets a lot of pressure on the king side, black has to counterattack quickly on the queen side. Fortunately, his sacrifice here looked very good, but it was on sand, I think. Although you say, I thought maybe he made a mistake by playing the rook back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe. He could have, he could have played Bishop takes G6. Maybe if you take with the knight, he plays it with H5. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. That would be, yeah. But then this is undefended then. So he made the mistake much earlier by playing G5. He should have played F5. Maybe. So the whole point was to break the barrier. Anyway, also, also, you, 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 you say you attack yeah. on the queen side. Yeah. Actually, yeah. he's so weak yeah. on the king side, isn't he? Yes. It,